Hey, it's David. Today I'm restarting on an old project. I've reached a point now where the shed is full and I can't do anything else in the space I've got. I do have too many bikes, but that's not really the problem, although it is a problem and one that I need to solve. There's at least two or three bikes that need to go and I know which ones they are, but I'm reluctant to let them go just yet. So my other problem is I have a complete lack of storage space because I've got two vehicles completely broken down in two parts, along with spare parts for those vehicles. I need to get those vehicles put back together and either sold or put back into use and certainly stop cluttering up the space around me. With less clutter, I can start to do the things that I really want to do with this channel, to buy the kit that I need to buy and to actually do the things that I want to do, to learn the skills that I want to learn. So, further ado, let's have a look at some of the problem. So the project I need to start with is the Sportster. I'll come back to the frame in a minute. Over here, we have the engine, which is taking up a large part of this uh, worktop. Behind here, There's suspension parts and handlebars and an exhaust system. More exhaust parts over here. It was the last exhaust system that was on it with an alternative slip on. Fuel stuff. More intake stuff. More engine parts and miscellaneous bits and pieces front forks paint on which has mm, gone all badly crazed i'm not sure what's happened to that i suspect it's because i experimented with the paint mm, might have to do that maybe not and over here in the window we have yet more parts wheels seats boxes of stuff more wheels and that's just the tip of the iceberg there are more parts hidden away here and there i probably have lost quite a few of them they'll come up after i've finished the bike i've no doubt at all but um to start off with let's look at the frame now there are some issues with the frame and it had been my intention to probably get it powder coated, if not probably blasted and then resprayed. But frankly, I don't have the money to do it. So I'm gonna have a look and see if it's fixable itself. Now it has the usual rust here, sort of underneath the seat. I assume the weather sort of gets to it there. Maybe if the back wheel kicks up a bit. Aside from that, the frame is not too bad. There are the usual sort of rust issues and so forth here and there. This needs to come off and already know that this needs new bearings. There. The front here, I've sort of rubbed it down before and painted it. There is some uh, rust issues going on here. Of course, down the front where it gets blasted from the road, there are some rust issues and so forth. But overall, I don't think it's too bad. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take uh, the yolks off and then give it a good clean and start putting a list together the one i need to do and to decide what i'm doing about these this is pretty much surface rust i think i'm going to wire wheel it see what happens uh, there's certainly some paint here that needs to come off so i think wire wheel for this 
see what it looks like. If necessary, top it up with some welding. And then I'm going to start spraying it. Now there are some bits and pieces on it that I don't really want to lose, labels and stuff. I'll have to see if those will come off with heat. Possibly, possibly not. We'll have to see. Worst case, I lose them. Um, but so long as I don't use the frame number up there, I think we're good, even if we actually lose some of the rest, some of that stickers.
Okay, so there's a fair bit of rust here. As you can see, I've treated some of this. I've ground it off and then I've used some uh, rust treatment on it. There's some fairly big pits over here. Maybe could do with a little bit of welding on that just to bring it back up. Pretty much everywhere there where there's a weld there seems to be some degree of rust but I think it's probably all treatable. It's just a very big job uh, to go over the whole frame and track it all down because you know there's just lots of rust in the places you just can't normally get to but where I can get to it here it's cleaning up okay so these I think are all good but you know there's gonna be rust in there rust all around here now some places I'm just trying with the rust eater itself and that seems to be working pretty well but you've really got to get the paint off first right so we've made a start back on the sports project but this frame it's gonna be a big job and not intending to film all of it simply because well, what can you film really uh, rubbing down scrubbing trying to get rid of rust and so forth it is gonna be a big job I'll try and film little bits of it but it's gonna hit my posting schedule because I'm going to be spending a lot of time I would otherwise be filming stuff working on the frame and the frame is just the start but it's also the most important bit because once I can get the frame back together I can start putting things like the forks on and the swinging arm which you'll also need doing and putting the, getting the wheels done, getting the wheels in and so forth so the frame is a starting point so it's important that I make, some, make a start on it and not keep leaving it, putting it back, putting it back which is what I have been doing and there's another big project that I've been putting off in the same way that I'm going to need to crack on with. So anyway, thanks very much for watching. And if you want to keep track with the sports, so don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you will be notified of updates, especially if you hit the bell. So thanks very much for watching and I will see you again soon.